thing with love is that you can find it in the least expected of places. It was a usual day at the office, and I was having lunch with other new joiners. We were fresh out of college and spent more time in the office. And our lunch breaks were long. When COVID news came out, Not sure what exactly COVID meant, but we were worried about disease spreading across the world. The world was closed and we were all a little excited to have a few days off and sit at home. A few days turned into weeks and then months. It was no longer just sitting at home. It felt like being caged at home. This is not what I expected when I moved from my hometown to this city for work. But in March, 2020, all that became a distant dream as my roommate got stuck in another country and I was all alone for months in the house. Rumi, when are you coming back? I'm all alone in this house. Macy, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck here, there is no flight, train, or bus. I spent my days working remotely and evenings on my balcony. One usual day, while I was having my coffee on the balcony, my neighbor's balcony door opened, and a shirtless man walked out. He looked absolutely chiseled. I just couldn't take my eyes off him. Somebody has crafted his body to perfection. Man, he is something. Oh shit, good morning, Mark. I'm sorry, do I know you? Hell no, you don't, but I know you. He is the head of the sales department, the most aspiring sales head in the industry. Hi, my name is Macy, and I have recently joined your department at work. Mark looked a bit embarrassed and left after wishing me well. I really hope he didn't catch me looking at his upper body. Mark is the top performing salesperson recently promoted to become the head of the sales department. There is an office gossip about him dating a model. Would he still be dating the model? I wonder. Next day, we had weekly supplies coming to our building basement. We usually went on our allotted slot to avoid crowding. Why do I always buy so much stuff? Now I have to carry this heavy bag all the way to my apartment. Macy, do you need any help? Mark, is he Mark? Wow, Mark is also doing grocery shopping. I need his help, but how should I ask my department head to carry my bags? Okay. Mark bent down a bit and took the bag. And our hands touched. Never have I ever enjoyed this quarantine so much. Wow, he's smart, good looking, and a gentleman, and we are staying a wall apart. Someone at the door? Wow, after ages I have heard my doorbell. It was Mark, my boss, my hot neighbor standing on my door with messy hair and looking tired. I am sorry to bother you. Can I have some coffee powder? I've had a headache since afternoon and I was on back-to-back -back office calls. I need coffee to keep myself awake. Please come inside. I can make you a cup of coffee. I mean, I can give you coffee powder, but as I am already making for myself, I can make a cup for you too. No, it's okay. I don't want to trouble you. Please, it's not a trouble. Okay, thank you. I have an office call in a few minutes. I will attend from your house. The scene of both of us in one room, with him working and me making coffee in the kitchen. Oh God, my imagination is going through the roof. I placed the coffee on the table with some cookies and went on to sit opposite him. He was talking about a new product. Man, he seemed so confident while talking. I wish I'd become like him in my career someday. Shall we drink the coffee at your usual place? Shit, did he catch me staring at him again? And my usual place? What does he mean by my usual place? Let's go to the balcony and have our coffee. We sat on the balcony for almost an hour, finished our coffee, and talked about movies and dramas. Despite my admiration for Mark, I enjoyed the conversation with him. Thank you for the coffee, Macy. Let's watch the upcoming new thriller movie this weekend together. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh my god, I have a movie date with Mark. Although he might just be bored at home since we can't go out of our houses, and hence he suggested watching a movie together, but my imagination was running wild. But whatever it is, I am happy to spend time with him. Even though I know I am not up to his level, he would never date a nobody like me. Which dress should I wear? Should I be seductive or simple? Mark was supposed to come on Saturday evening, but he ended up coming quite early and brought groceries. Did he dress for today? Or does he usually exude this much hotness? Yay. It is starting out to be a perfect date. Mark's phone. Dating app notification? Is he not dating a model? Why would a guy like him be on a dating app? Come on, there would be at least 10 girls around him who would be happy to date him. We had our meal together. 
We started talking as there was some time, and by the time the movie was aired, I was tired. But I don't remember when I fell asleep in the middle of the conversation. I woke up early in the morning. I was sleeping on my bed with a blanket on top of me and a pillow below my head. Did Mark do this? I am so embarrassed to sleep in the middle of the movie. I didn't even get to say goodnight to Mark. I quickly freshened up and went to Mark's house. I knocked on his door and he opened it. His hair was wet. Looks like he just came out of the shower. God, you have made this guy to perfection. His silky dark hair looked amazing on him. Mark, I'm sorry for spoiling the movie date. I said movie date. I need a wall where I can bang my head. Why on earth did I say date? Sorry for spoiling the movie plan. I hope he didn't catch the word date. It's okay, you were tired. Though I enjoyed our lunch date. He said lunch date. Did I hear it wrong? No, he said date. Why did he say date? Did he want to make me feel less embarrassed? Or is he making fun of me? Would you like another lunch date today? We can complete the movie now. Are you making fun of me? Why would you date a nobody like me? Why wouldn't I date a beautiful girl who is so funny, smart, and makes the world's best coffee? Am I imagining this, or is this real? How much I controlled last night, not to pull your cheeks, as you were sleeping like a baby on the couch? Did you date a model? I heard these office gossips about you. Who do you think I am? I don't have time to date anyone. Lately, in COVID, I have started to feel lonely and was looking to date someone. That explains the dating app on his phone. The moment I first saw you, from the balcony, I was struck by love at first sight. When I noticed you, heading towards the market, I decided to go at the same time. Then, when I came by for some coffee powder, I secretly hoped you would invite me in. The way you gazed at me while preparing the coffee caused my heart to flutter. I consider myself extremely lucky to have you living right next door. And that's how I met the love of my life, at a time I least expected. Hope you like the story. Show us some love and subscribe to our channel.